Hey guys, I'm back with another another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make three different slimes plus a dollar Dollar Tree haul. And see, I just went to Dollar Tree, so we'll be going through that in a second. I will be showing you how to make um, soft serve slime, fluffy slime, and then slime with Orbeez in it. So let's get started. Hey guys, I'm back with another another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make three different slimes plus a dollar Dollar Tree haul. And see, I just went to Dollar Tree, so we'll be going through that in a second. I will be showing you how to make um, soft serve slime, fluffy slime, and then slime with Orbeez in it. So let's get started. So let's start with the Dollar Tree haul. The first thing was these um, Orby things. They're like scented Orbeez. And this is what it is. It's waterfall scented. And that sounds like a really weird name. But it actually smells really, really good. So, yeah. And it's just blue and white Orbeez. See, just like Orbeez, except scented. Make like a bubbly, like a bubbly thing when you mix it. See, you see the bubbles a little bit. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Next is some foaming hand soap. This is Aerofoam, juicy grapefruit scented, and foaming hand wash, of course. And it smells so good, I'm telling you. It looks a little orange on camera, but it's pink. Really pretty. I might put a filter on this to make it look more pink, though. <laughs> so that's that. Then I got Airwick because this makes slime. I can show you how to make a little bit with it at the end. This is Magnolia. And cherry blossom. I'm sorry if I said it wrong, but it smells super, super good. So, yeah. Then is these floral gel beads. Just, like, clear Orbeez. And this is, like, stuffed to the top. Like, it's full. Can't close it. Okay. And then, last but not least, is baby oil. Just baby oil. And what's stupid about this is that there is two sizes. One was this size, and then one was like maybe like that. And I just thought, they're both a dollar. Why would someone get the smaller one for the same price as the big one? So I got the big one. Actually, there's one more thing. Right here. Just this for my pour it squirts out water. It's kind of sticky there. Comment down below if you know something that you can put in there to make it not like that. So let's start with um the oh gosh soft serve soft serve slime. What you'll need is a bowl. I'm just using this glass bowl and something to mix with. I'm using a spatula. It's a little owl. You also will need baby oil, some glue, where's my glue, one second, let me go get the items first, some baby powder, I got this at Goodwill, some glue, I'm using Crazy Art Washable School Glue. We we'll also need cornstarch. I have this huge container. And optional is food coloring. Let's get started. Oh yeah, you will also need water and activator, which I will show you how to make that in a second. So for the activator, I use half a cup of water with like a fourth of a teaspoon of borax. So, I'm gonna get. 
I don't really need a measure. I just like know how much it is. So I'll pause the video and get it out. So I put my activator on this lid and that is a fourth of a teaspoon. So that in. Mix it all together. Then you have your activator. And if it doesn't activate it, you can always add just a little bit more borax. A little bit makes, does a lot. So now let's really get started. First, take your glue and put some in there. I'm putting about a tablespoon. Then, add some oil. You don't need a whole bunch of baby oil, I mean. I gotta take the safety seal off one second. So I'm adding about half a teaspoon. That should be about good. Then, take your baby powder right here. And add mm, about half, like a teaspoon. I think that was a little too much, but it's fine. Now take your cornstarch and add about half a teaspoon. Or a teaspoon, I mean. A teaspoon of cornstarch. That'll just help thicken it a little bit. And then take your foaming hand wash. Put a couple pumps in there. I haven't opened this yet. So, <laughs> can't get it. Whoa. So, put a couple pumps in there. And then mix it up. It looks a little weird at first. Like it looks like it won't turn into slime because like there's lumps in it. But oh, I almost forgot the water. Kind of, I'm adding half a teaspoon. Just add as much water. The more water is more jiggle. We're not making jiggly slime. But if you want jiggly soft serve slime, add more water. So I added about a teaspoon to half a teaspoon. I'm going to add a little bit more water. Then I will activate it. There we go. Then you can color your slime. I'm going to color mine after. So just keep mixing. Then take your activator. I put it in an old glue bottle. And add some activator. The more activator, the less sticky. So just activate it. I'll come back when I'm done activating it. If it looks like this, and all stringy, and looks like it's sticky, it is not done. Just keep on mixing it, and then it'll become perfect slime. I forgot to mention, I also will be showing you how to make bubbly slime. So my slime is done. I need to check and see if this slime is sticky. Nope. Perfect. So here's my soft serve slime. I'm going to pause the video and color. I don't know the exact color I'm going to color it, but let's see. So I ended up with this bluish green color. I actually didn't use my food coloring. I used some markers. I used these two colors. And it made a really pretty color. It's hard to see on, on camera, but it looks kind of like a minty green. It looks more like a teal on camera, though, or turquoise. So, I'll make a swirl with it and do some slime ASMR. And I'm sorry about the background noises if you hear any. Put my fans on and then there's just noises around my house. So, I'll make a swirl for you all. This was a total of 50 stretches, and it's melting, so I better get to it.
kind of hard to do this because my my thing that I'm doing it on it moves a lot. So I might have to fix that in a second. So I fix it. I just have to put heavy stuff like I put this jar of slime over here, a bowl of water, the air wick, and then my bowl over here. Hopefully that helps. Let's move on to the next slime. The next slime we are making is the um, bubbly slime. So you'll need something to mix with. I'm using my spatula again, a bowl, some activator, some glue, um, of course you'll need some foaming hand soap. Optional food coloring, some water, and a little bit of baby oil to make it softer. I don't know if I mentioned glue, but you'll need glue. So I'm going to start by putting about a tablespoon in there. Oh yeah, you also need some shaving cream. Okay, now put... Oh, loads and loads of foam hands. This is what makes it bubbly. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I forgot another thing. You need a little bit of cornstarch to make it thick, and that'll make the bubbles nice and crispy. I'm going to make this a blue color. So I'm going to add my blue food coloring. And mix. I think I put a little too much soap actually. If it doesn't activate, I'll just have to add a little bit more glue. Now I'm going to put some shaving cream. Shaving cream is also, also optional. You can add it if you want your slime to be a little fluffy. And I'm going to do that. Just add a little bit. Mix that all together. Then, I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of cornstarch. That looks about good. Mix that. The cornstarch will just make it a little bit more crispy. Actually, I'm going to add another teaspoon. You can add as much as you want. It just depends how crispy you want it to be. Don't worry guys, I didn't forget the water this time. I'm going to add like half a teaspoon. Actually, how about one teaspoon? Uh oh, it spilled a little. There we go. I want this one to have a little bit of a scent. So I'm going to put a scent in it. I'm going to take some of the liquid from the, um, these Orbeez. It's waterfall. So, hopefully I can get them out. Some, I hope the Orbeez don't come out of these holes. They're pretty big holes. Hard to see on camera. Oh no! No! Fail. Well, I'm going to pause the video and get those out, so, yeah. I'm actually just going to have to pick those out 
later when it's done. That that was terrible. But it'll be a little bit scented. So I'm going to activate this now. So I'll be back when it's done activating. I forgot to mention on this slime, when you activate it, it'll look like it's not going to be done, but it really will be done. You just have to kind of feel for it. Here is the consistency of it. See, it looks like it's not done. It looks really sticky, but it's actually not. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out and play with it. So, just like this. One of the Orbeez, or whatever, already fell out. Ooh, two of them. Three of them. Well, I'm on a roll. Or the Orbeez are on the roll. Orbeez and the slime. Where did that one go? I don't know where that Orbeez went. But I'm going to get the Orbeez out and put a little more activator in this, and I'll be back in a second. So here's my finished result. Sadly, I cannot show you the bubbles because that would just take too long. It would be a couple days, but in a couple days, I will make a video on it, so let's do some more. My brothers just got home, so it might be a little loud. Next, we are going to make fluffy slime. What you'll need is some oil to make it a little soft, your activator, some glue. My glue. Where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Some glue. Of course, your shaving cream. Optional. Oh, I just don't know my food going out. But, food coloring is optional. And, so yeah. On this one, I'm going to use Air Wick to um, activate it for, for this slime. So let's get started. I'm starting with some glue. Glue in about a tablespoon will be good. Then add the same amount of glue and, and shaving cream. Then mix that together. The shaving cream already makes it look a little slimy. See? Now you can add your oil. I 
add as much oil as you want. It just depends how shiny you want it and how um, soft you want it. So I'll mix that together. It already looks like slime. Oh yeah, you also need water. <laughs> I always forget the dang water. Now I'm going to add the water. I'm adding a teaspoon. Two teaspoons. I am adding color later. Now activate it. I'm using this air, the cherry blossom. I need a lot of this. Gosh, what's wrong with this one? Oh gosh. You'll need a lot of this though. Oh yeah, I'm also putting food coloring at the end. And the baby oil is optional. I'll be right back. Here is my finished slime. I'm going to color it real quick. And I'm going to use markers. So here's my slime. There is some color in it. It's kind of hard to see. So let's do some more with some swirls. This is kind of hard to swirl. Or like stretch for the swirls. I'm trying for y'all. Oh yeah, we will also be making glossy slime. The next slime, we will be making the glossy slime. And I for if I, and if I forget any slimes, I am so so sorry. So you'll need glue, some hand soap, some conditioner, which I don't have that with me right now. Some baby oil to make it extra glossy. Water. And if you want it to be fluffy, shaving cream, that's optional. I'm not going to use shaving cream. And then, I think that's everything. So I'm going to go get the conditioner. So let's start by our glue. Put about a tablespoon. a couple pumps of soap. I put three. And then some baby oil. I'm putting about a teaspoon. I'm going to mix that up. Actually, I'm not going to put water. I want this to be really glossy. to add my conditioner. It's hard to get out. Now I'm going to add color. bit yellow on camera but it, I promise it's orange I'm putting a little bit more oil 
baby oil, I mean. I just feel like it's not enough oil. I'm going to add a little bit more. It doesn't look glossy enough to me. Hmm, I'm going to add some more conditioner. Now I kind of feel like it's not going to activate. So I'm going to activate it until it's slime. So see you in a second. So here is my finished slime. I ended up adding a little bit more color. So here it is. I'm not going to do much ASMR because... Um, my video is going to be too long. This ended, this ended up not being as glossy as I wanted it, though. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I'm sorry that that wasn't very much, but gotta do what you gotta do. And for the slime we've all been waiting for... Is going to be the Orby slime. So what you'll need is, of course, your glue. The soap is optional if you want to make it a little bubbly. Some water, which is right here. Some color, which is optional. And some oil. Baby oil. So, let's start with tablespoon or so of glue. You can add as much as you want. It just depends how much slime you want. So now add a little bit of that from your hand soap. Mix that. And I'm going to do yellow. I haven't done yellow. your oil. The oil is optional, but you'll need this slime to be a little sticky so the Orbeez can stick in it. Add in your water. Ooh, something a little too much. I'm going to have to add some more glue. Let me open another bottle. Out. I'm having technical difficulties. One second. So I got some more glue in there and I finally got some. Got. Yep, good. So now I'm going to use my floral, the clear floral beads. I'm going to add some of those now. Add how much you want. And I'm doing this before so the, they stick in there. This kind of looks like mustard, like bumpy mustard. Oh. Now that I think about it, that sounds kind of gross. Just a little bit more. That'll be good. And I'm going to use a little scent. I'm going to use this Airwick. It's Hawaiian. This kind of activated a little bit. So now I'm going to activate. I'll come back when it's done. It's kind of like mac and cheese. This was kind of a fail. The Orbeez don't really stay in there. They really just like fall out and I don't like it. But it's, when I was mixing it, it literally even sounded like making mac and cheese. 
so pretty cool. This one, I'm going to do the ASMR in the bowl, because so, I don't want Orbeez all over my room. It's already a mess. Oh, I forgot. I was also going to tell you that I was going to do a, um, just plain slime. Like, regular slime. Crunch is pretty nice. I think all the beads that are gonna, oops, the, all the beads that are gonna fall up, I think they're not so, I think I can take this out and play with it now. Most of the beads ended up falling out though. But here it is. I'm satisfied with it. The dang beads. <laughs> I'm not going to do much with this for two reasons because I don't, I still don't want the Orbeez all over my room and I'm running out of time. Okay, so I'm going to put this up now because I, I'm running out of time and I don't want Orbeez all over my room again. Okay, don't mind the dirtiness of my bowl, but the next slime we are doing is just regular slime. Oh, Orbeez are such me. So what you'll need is your bowl, your thing to mix with, foaming hand wash, that is optional, oil is optional, then glue, then your activator. And then optional is food coloring or any other color. So I'm going to try to get some glue out. This is glue water. I had to add a little bit of water to my glue bottles. So here it is. Now I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Oh gosh, that was a lot. Uh oh, I think this is going to turn into jiggly slime. I'm going to add a little bit of shaving cream. That's optional. This shouldn't become a fluffy slime. Because I just put a little bit. I just put this to kind of thicken it up. Put some of your foaming hand soap. That is optional. Then I'm going to add some color. three drops of this really pretty blue. It looks really dark on camera, but I promise it's like a teal color. Mix it. Looks like a dark blue on camera, but I promise, promise, promise it's not. Now, activate your slime. Hmm, where'd my activator go? Oh, there it is. So this kind of did turn into like a fluffy slime. I thought it wouldn't, but it did just a little bit though. Like, this was basically just an extra tutorial. So, that was that. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Oh, and comment down below if I should do any challenges.